or SESI. Uh, it's now, uh, we're getting close to graduation. Uh, 1961. Oh, no, have you decided whether to uh, join the brothers or not? Talaga? Papasok ka? Oh, sige, ako rin. I, I think I want to give it a try, but uh, I don't know how to tell my father. No? I know he's going to get mad. But anyway, so, Ceci, my God, 50 years ago, parang kahapon lang, no? Now, you were 17, I was 16. And I can never forget, we were, we had a big group, we were 12. Uh, of course, mostly Ilongos, mostly from... Uh, from the Salva Colon, uh, recruited by Brother Francis and Brother Andrew. Uh, those novitiate years were really very happy years. Uh, you especially, you learned to, get, to keep quiet, which is a great, great uh, sacrifice for you. And then our scholastic years at De La Salle, Again, very, very happy years. Then, of course, I left you for a while. The brothers wanted to experiment with me. Uh, so they shipped me off to, uh, to Washington, Catholic University of America. And for three years, I was gone, but happy to come back, 1968. And really, really happy to, to teach at the Sal Green Hills for what, 18 years. No? Uh, of course, got very much involved in politics, uh, fought uh, the dictatorship uh, with Namfrel, so much so that the brother said, I think you better go and rest. So they sent me back to La Salva Colón. At the time, just before uh, EDSA, uh, I think it was significant. It marked uh, a very significant change in, in education, in this sense. Before that, before that uh, crisis, you know, education, especially Catholic education, was very, very, uh, what, uh, very traditional, very, very isolated. You know, as the protest uh, mounted, more and more we went out to the streets and also took our students with us to really, you know, I guess, uh, educate them on, on what really the re real situation was in the Philippines and also what uh, we could do about it. So more and more, you know, schools got involved uh, to the point where, yeah, we were, we really spearheaded uh, uh, Namfrel. No? Uh, so in education, that's a significant change. Then uh, when Andrew was appointed Secretary of Education, I came to De La Salle University, served for five years, well, until the, uh, the biggest crisis in my life came, no? when, when I was diagnosed with, uh, with cancer in 2002. Ever since I got sick, I've really changed. And part of this change is, I guess, a real realization of, of, for example, I now realize really what are the most important things in life. You know, as a young brother, of course, you know, achievement. Achievement was the, the most important thing for me. You know? Because I was, I was brought up to be very, very competitive and very achievement-oriented. So to me, that was, I was driven. I was driven, but now I realize that's not it. The most important thing is that as you journey through life, you discover who the people are who really love you, and you nourish those relationships. Because in the end, you know, even, even uh, I think St. Paul says it. In the end, even f what faith and hope will disappear, but love will remain forever.
Well, today, really, really, my feelings are just of, of great joy and gratitude that uh, in spite of everything, in spite of everything, I'm still here. I'm still a LaSalle brother, proud and happy to be one.